neither of these characters on the screen are what we would expect tonight. Call Rain apparently playing Ganon earlier while Gossman played Joker at one point. It's like we're going to get Kirby versus Falco, though. Some pretty scrappy characters, if I do say so myself. Falco, I often refer to as the character they forgot to give to give a neutral to. But <laughs> boy does he boy does he make up for it in punish game. That up tilt is brutal and leads to so much damage. People refer to it frequently as cutscene combos. Kirby, on the other hand, another character maybe lacking in the neutral department, but uh I've I've talked about him before uh in other places as slow fox. <laughs> I, I I really like that comparison for sure. Both these characters struggling a little bit with the neutral like you're talking about, but that doesn't matter when both of them are struggling at neutral. It'll be punish game, punish game, punish game, I believe, coming out from these characters. Um yeah, one thing one thing that Yeah, one thing that I'd like to bring to light though, uh the uh the crouch factor from Kirby getting under a lot of situations specifically that up tilt from falco doesn't always lift as far from the ground as you might want and uh if if sorry if kyle is able to uh to hold on to that i think we could see um some interesting dynamics yeah no call on the kirby however Falco also has another tool in that down tilt, which at low percents combos and at late percents can even kill, and that's going to scoop low into that crouch uh, that you were mentioning before. It looks like Call having a little bit of trouble finding as big of an opening as this Falco had earlier, but Kirby starting to rack up just a little bit of damage before running into that down tilt, like I mentioned killing at these later percents, especially on a lighter character like Kirby, probably expecting it to kill around the 120, 130-ish range. Yeah, so far, it's been a pretty standard game. A lot of stray hits, a lot of damage coming up, but there but there we see a good punish there with, with the parry into forward smash. Very powerful forward smash coming out from Kirby. Yeah, in Smash Ultimate, you always run the risk when you try and land on top of someone with a hitbox. They could parry it, and that could be curtains, and that's what we saw just now. Call able to take that stock and make this a more even situation. Although, again, that down tilt proving to be an excellent tool in this matchup at the time. Yeah, unfortunately, Gossman wasn't able to quite capitalize on that sort of platform extension situation that he has. That perhaps one of the few chances he would have had to land an up tilt and maybe start one of those wider combos. And now we're sort of back to even, only a few percent separating these players. Yeah, it's so hard when you're a combo-centric character like Falco going in against such a light floaty character like Kirby, a lot of times you definitely have to adjust to that lack of weight uh, in Kirby to be able to, you know, confirm into combos and maybe it's a little different and can can be a little uh, upsetting right off the bat if you don't have a ton of Kirby experience. Yeah, no, and like I said, with both these characters not having the best neutral at times, you can see situations like this where neutral can feel almost like clunky or awkward as if they don't really quite have the tools to do what they want with the information their opponents are giving them. Working with it regardless, and it looks like Paul's Kirby is right back into that down tilt kill range, meaning that he's going to be shielding a lot more, and Gossman electing to scoop him up there, starting to try and get onto it shields in this mid-range by threatening with side B's and down tilts. Raw F smash covering that dash in from Call. Excellent decision taking in <laughs> Falco. Also a pretty light character. Yeah, and there we see Kyle off stage. As soon as he got the lead, he went for the cheese and you gotta respect it. But he does air dodge into that forward smash and it is back down to an even 0-0 zero -zero game. Who's going to be able to go up right off the bat and uh, maybe start applying a lead 
That's the question we're about to answer here. Yeah, and like you mentioned, Goss saying, I respect the grind, but I don't have to get hit by it. <laughs> and that's the danger of throwing out your cheese option too early. A lot of times I feel like once you once you use it, your opponent's just gonna be all the more ready for it. And there we see Gossman electing to stay back from the ledge and make Kirby approach. And he definitely has that uh you know that up his sleeve right now that's that's what he's feeling lots of movement coming out here waiting for kyle to make a decision yeah i would say it's also hard to land a sort of option like that from call especially when the option is so infamous as the uh as the kirby swallow into dip or just dump them off off stage under the stage is Ooh, Kyle there trying to go for Old Faithful with that forward smash. Not going to connect for the first time this match. Yeah, no, has not whiffed many of those. Oh, he elected to double roll. Is that going to kill? Oh my god, perhaps some susty eye, but that dash attack creating a crazy situation, sealing that stock super early, and it looks like FSU is going to be taking this early lead. ZSS electing to fight Kirby's stubbier, slower hitboxes with a much more mobile character. Yeah, another character that might fall prey to the uh, dreaded Kirby crouch, but uh, Jay Goody does definitely have the tools to, uh, to be able to deal with that specifically side b is going to kill so early against such a small and light character <laughs> i love call's movement here so much <laughs> he finally made it let's go Yay! and the taunt and we are getting into it we are underway right now game two cuaa yeah, no, uh... concordia university ann arbor versus ferris Lots on the line here. You know, the 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 Owen three perspective here. You want to get that dub as early as possible, and it, just imagine how rough it's going to feel for the losing team to go two weeks without feeling the taste of victory. Yeah, no, I I have to respect CUAA's decision to put in a character that uh, has a game plan following my favorite word for Smash Bros. commentary, and that is interactant. ZSS just does not have to put herself out there in any situation against Kirby. Despite that crouch, as long as she has a percent lead, she doesn't have to approach at all. She can just stick her whip into Kirby's range and keep asking, what are you going to do about it? All trying down B out of that berry release situation, but Jay Goody able to scoop him up with the up B attack out of the corner from call yeah there we see jay goody starting to fish for the side bees that is a kill move that he has in his arsenal along with the paralyzers that we do see him using as well that was a scary situation call just deciding to run full stage as jay goody shielded that's always intimidating because you know they want the role but jay goody with perhaps a max spaced down smash into the boost kick evening this out called not getting the chance to take an extra stock and they're going back into an even situation three players on each side it's still they're still down a player it's just that the uh banner is currently incorrect Nylos coming in for the FSU side on Joker, my main. Uh, love this character. So much tech, so much just oppressive neutral, so much for getting the 30 second timer and resetting the game. Are we gonna get a reset? Question mark? Exclamation point, please. <laughs> now, now they know. Unfortunate. I hope, I hope that uh, as we uh, travel further down, you know, week three, week four, week five, Tech Chase Major League, um, players get a little more used to that 30 seconds, 
time timer right at the beginning of the game it can be a little bit hard to uh adjust to that especially when you're playing really focused towards i'm going to start hitting i'm going to start being aggressive i need to start being aggressive and uh you know we'll get a reset no big deal we'd love to we'd love to be here longer anyway yeah N neither of these players really wanting to uh take that extra 30 seconds they just want to take stocks <laughs> right let's see what these players do are they just gonna stand there like they're <laughs> they're gonna stand there like they got mildly scolded for the 30 seconds <laughs> I hope they just look taunts. at each other. Yeah, no taunts, no uh, no tech skill flexes. Show me, show me those gun reverses. I don't want them to accidentally hit each other and us have to restart again. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true too. Oh, oh and we see the taunt. we got the one taunt. Oh. Looking cool, Joker. I. This character is so stylish. I, I can't gush enough about how much I love my main. Uh, <laughs> however, uh, ZSS, also a really stylish character. Both these characters uh, up there on the list of like who is the hypest to watch in a tournament environment, in my opinion, at least. Both these players kind of looking for these jump-in situations with their combo starting moves. Uh, Joker going for the nair. With the down gun, however, interrupted on the side. That's how you deal with it. Paralyzer catching the neutral get up into the boost kick. Goody up a whole stock now. 15% to his name, whereas Nylos going down in this situation. Yeah, and that's a very good start for Jay Goody specifically because, uh, you know, like we said, the CUAA uh, candy cap in people tonight. Jay Goody has an opportunity here to, you know, take some more stocks. He's working on it. Oh my God. He almost took a whole stock on his own there. Remnants of Smash 4 there. Uh, quite a few up airs. And even if he didn't get the full combo, there's a ton of damage on Nihilus. Uh Half an Arsene's worth just gone down the drain. Yeah, that Arsene meter uh, does, you know, dramatically decrease when you do get hit. So uh, taking all that damage while you have Arsene is not a good position to be in. Jake Goody, unfortunately not quite reacting quick enough to that down smash uh, hitting, although that might have been a stock, though they still get a little bit of damage. Now they're into this neutral situation. They're just abusing this paralyzer stun into crazy moves hiding under this platform like their regular Samus, sticking out their disjointed hitboxes just like that and getting the kill. Jay Goody only taking 70 still versus Nylos dropping two stocks. Jay Goody looking to make it look like they weren't missing a guy at all. Yeah, he is absolutely working on, uh, you know, that detriment right now and it seems like they're very even especially in this game if jay goody is able to hold on to this stock uh he can spell doom for fsu the other hand holding on to stocks not the easiest task against arsen nylos looking to at least take the one with that back air those down airs all he was trying arsen gone now though it's much hard their task to kill with non Arsene Joker, as I have learned quite a few times. Oh, and there we see the jump read into the backer. Not going to kill yet, though. Jay Goody with a. Oh. It, it did kill. He wasn't able to make it back. He probably could have gun dashed, but maybe not against ZSS. It's very difficult to get back to stage against such a, a character that can jump on you from so far away into the stage. Going to elect to go for Rob. Probably a little bit better matchup against ZSS. He didn't even pick oh. your favorite skin either. Yeah. Un unfortunate. Okay. Elite Mist just going to have to fire those lasers off into the distance for this 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, another little rule set thing before we start this game. Any charge mechanics, Wario Waft, Laser, uh, a few others come to mind. Um, do not... You, you have to waste them before you start the start the 30 seconds 
So a uh, little bit of little bit of fair mechanics for every player. Yeah. Although perhaps a little scummy, Joker being the only one that you can't uh, get rid of after that 37. <laughs> just take my tiny little edges here and there. Just like Jay Goody taking the edges on this combo game, going for that tech chase read with the paralyzer, but not quite getting it. So far in this match, it's been all Jay Goody with so much damage on Elite Mist. Elite Mist trying to get back to the ground. That Nair is going to make him get him to be able to get to the ground, but what is he going to do after he gets there? Yeah, it just seems like Jay Goody, when they aren't uh, comboing you, they're just so far away that you can't touch them in neutral. That flip kick paying off huge in both the disadvantage and neutral game play. Jay Goody, or er, yeah, Jay Goody able to stay away at all times. Down smash almost catching that neutral get up. Ooh, dropping shield off of the side B. A little multi-hit timing mix-up. Down smash. Catching that get up. Missed. Starting to get this back into under control into a more even situation. Ooh, this and there's the confidence off. that he needs with that down air. But an up air of Jay Goodies will even it back up. 0-0. Zero, zero. Five, 5 is the stock count for these teams. Ferris is not going to go down without a fight. Yeah, for sure. Jay Goody able to just scoop Mist off with that back air. Mist with a pretty risky air dodge there that goes unpunished by Jay Goody. There, nothing. All right, Jay Goody not quite reacting to that hit, although they're still just lapping Mist in damage and neutral wins here. It's very hard to get in and stay in on a character like ZSS with such good escape options like that flip kick back into center stage, stealing control, up air from mist. <sighs> All right. Good conversion off the side B into the back air off stage. Elite mist, 100%. Very heavy character is Rob, and he has a reflector with that side B making use of it right there. Flip kick up into the shield, not going to connect. A flip kick, a much more dangerous tool if you land on top of someone's shield, putting you in quite a bit of lag. Uh, looks like Jay Goody aiming for some double jump reads there as he swung high with that back air. But both players getting back into this. The Paralyzer into the uppies going to take the stock. Let's see if Mist can answer back just as fast as Jay Goody did in the first stock. Jay Goody's able to get in just a little bit of extra credit. Just a lot of bit of extra credit with that 60% off of the tech in read. It's yeah, that still down, going. That down smash dude was crucial there. He's getting tons of extra credit here, hoping he can uh, finish off this last stock and bring his team to a, a more favorable position. Ooh, okay. Once again, Jay Goody roll off ledge, getting caught by that Rob down smash. Uh, Elite missed. Great at charging that and timing it to react to just the moment he sees movement off the ledge. Up B out of shield. A move not maybe the most consistent, but definitely putting him work that time. Jay Goody gets to extend one more stock over the Ferris team. Jay Goody definitely the MVP of this match so far. Ferris and CUAA getting back into this in the final stages of this night, of this week two Tech Chase Major League. We'll get our yeah, SDs out of the way in the 30 seconds. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, however, uh, uh, maybe that uh, shows a little bit of nerves because speaking of clutch, Jeremy has to take this stock from Jay Goody and then defeat another player in a, a, a game that he might even go in and down a stock or two. Jeremy's going to have to clutch this out for sure, despite having what I would call a good matchup. There we see Wolf Laser catching that roll from Jay Goody. Need a little that bit of extra crazy. damage there. Yeah, undeterred, Jeremy did start out with a good little anti or that forward air into Nair and then a tech chase read. Uh, Ooh, okay, the flip kick catching him out of that uh, laser attempt. A lot of ZSS's players, or ZSS players don't usually go for flip kicks to punish uh, laggy projectiles. 
Uh, Jay Goody, though, getting a little bit of mileage off of that option. There we see Wolf Nair coming into, uh, coming into play there. Big hitbox on that, like we were talking about earlier. Let's see what he can do off of it. Just a couple little lasers in the corner, and Jay Goody says, Hey, stop that. You have to fight for stage control, just like Sakurai intended, and you <laughs> have to... I'd be into this down smash and get boost kick. Just like Sakurai intended. Unfortunate. Yeah, just like Sakurai intended. <laughs> All right, Ooh, and up. a missed tech. That's going to be a lot of damage for Jay Goody. Yeah, for sure. Hey, another couple of these up smash out of shield attempts, but Jay Goody's just nowhere near them. They're striking air. Jeremy, perhaps a little bit uh, nervous, just wanting to end this stock, just wanting it to be over, just to see if they can clutch out against this last player. But they have to keep focused on the game at hand. Oh, and there we finally see the scoop up, up smash, catching Jay Goody on the ledge and ending his tear. Yoder is one of CUAA's best players. There's a reason why he's the anchor right now. It's not going to be an easy feat for Jeremy to be able to clutch this out. Yeah, and we mentioned there's a benefit to losing all of that extra percent uh, that you uh, may have taken at the end of a game where uh, you ended up having the last stock. But, uh might have to call that a detriment against a character like Luigi where you have to be afraid of getting scooped up and just literally dying at zero to true combos off of his tether grab. Yeah, I'm sure Jeremy at this point would have preferred to keep a little bit of percent on him. Almost immediately showing what we were talking about and he gets a grab anyway. Okay, 50 percent off of one interaction luigi is definitely no slouch when it comes to the dealing damage department 50 percent is better than a stock though and that is totally possible from luigi however dealing damage uh is jay or uh, jeremy here dealing almost 100 off of just a few hits and getting this ledge trap situation still that was an interesting mix-up from yoder there just side being into the ledge and then having that rising invincible move on frame one in the cyclone. Ooh, up smash. smash. I think Jeremy Ooh. really high. Oh yeah, you can shield there. Unfortunate for Jeremy. Yoder absolutely going to scoop that up with another up smash. Mashing out of that grab. Yoder's obviously going to go for the uh, grab in this situation. Feeling Jeremy out. Trying to clutch this game out. Yeah, doesn't doesn't have to be too impatient. There's plenty of time and plenty of space to work with, with him having an entire stock lead. That dash attack's a little better than you think. Uh, it's got quite a big hitbox and it lingers for a long time. Uh, Jeremy getting caught by it and spent off stage for a second and now they have to find a way to get off that platform but they do by sliding across him with that falling up air once again that invincible escape option in the cyclone See Jeremy trying to get this chip damage here with wolf laser but he's taking so much damage from Yoder right now yeah, he just hemorrhaging to... so these yeah. little like, one and two hit uh, combos from Luigi. Yeah, and when you're behind a stock, you cannot do that. Back throw, is that going to kill? No, not Spark yet. A hundred? Excuse me? Yoder charging up another up smash. Oh, that crossed up his DI pretty hard. And I got to say, he definitely held right, expecting to be hit on his left side got crossed up and unfortunately for jeremy that's gonna mean he died a little bit sooner than he probably should have off of that cyclone 